Hey everyone, my name is Ellie and you can call me Gardener Ellie and I am the new City Sprouts Garden Educator here at Cambridgeport School and I'm really excited to be able to get to know you all a lot better over the fall semester and to dive really deep into our science. And right now I am actually in your school garden here at Cambridgeport and I thought that a good way for us to start is to take a look around the garden and get to know what is living and what's maybe not really living anymore here in the garden. So come on over with me and let's take a look and see what we can find. So here is your garden at Cambridgeport. So as you guys can see, the garden has been busy over the summer and has some cool things that are living and growing in it. So let's go ahead and take a closer look. As we go through the garden, I want you all to pay really close attention to the types of observations you can make. And I want you all to really think closely about what is living right now in the garden and what you see that is not living anymore and looks kind of dead. Let's closely observe this plant. So do you think that this plant is alive or do you think that it's dead? Something I observe is that there seems to be a lot of little scars on our stem here. And to me, it kind of looks like some critter of some sort maybe gnawed those leaves off. What sort of observations do you make? Let's take a look at this tree branch right here. So this looks like it fell off from this tree right over here. And if we follow it all the way up, there it is, already changing color for the fall, which is wonderful. But now if we take another look at our tree branch, what do you all notice? And do you think this tree branch is still alive? Or do you think it's dead? And if we come and take a really close observation of some of those leaves, let's give it a feel. So they feel very dry and they're kind of cracking and falling off of the branch as I touch it. So it feels very brittle, very brittle and dry. I wonder how you would describe that if you all are here to give it a touch right now. Let's take a close observation of this plant. What do you think, living or dead? And why? So let's take another close look. And I see something kind of cool down here. Take a look at that. That's pretty cool. And if we give these a little touch, they're actually very smooth very smooth. So here's another log that is sitting in one of our garden beds. And I wonder what you think about whether this log is alive or whether it's dead. And do you think that this log will sit on this soil forever? And if not, what do you think will happen to it over time? How do you think it might change? Let's take a close look underneath and look at that. So there's actually some living things that live underneath this log. Do you see all those critters moving around down there? Here's some more. So I wonder what these little critters are doing underneath the log. What do you all think? I'm curious to see what sort of things you're observing. What about these two leaves that are sitting on top of our soil in the garden beds? Alive or dead? And why? And do you think that all of these leaves that have fallen from the trees up above will stay here on the soil forever? And if not, where will they go and what will happen to them? Now that we've had a chance to take a closer look at the garden, 
I really encourage you all to make a scientific drawing in your science notebook. And that's because drawing what we see can really help us observe things even closer. So make sure that you make your drawings really large and really colorful and detailed. And remember that we can always add thoughts or questions or notes to our drawings as well. So when we make our scientific drawings, let's draw both something that was living and something that we thought was dead in the garden. And maybe start to write down some notes about similarities and differences that we see. So I'm thinking I might draw a picture of those two leaves that we saw at the end of the video. And I might add some thoughts about what I think happens to those leaves over time and where I think dead plants actually go. And now I'm really excited to dive deeper into this topic with you all. I think it's really interesting to think about where all of our dead things go and to really dive down deeper into those scientific mysteries. And so I will see you all in our next lesson. And until then, bye.